Introducing from Albany, Georgia, the 228 pounds, Dale Beasy. His opponent from Mission, Texas, weighing in at 234 pounds, Tito Santana. Your referee is Nick Patrick. Don't smell good. Tito Santana, the fine young wrestler from Mission, Texas at 234 pounds, against Dale Vesey from nearby Albany, Georgia. The referee, Nick Patrick, and we're about set to go. What can you tell us about these two wrestlers, Tom? Well, you know, uh, I think everybody uh, has seen Tito Santana in the past couple of weeks here in Columbus, but uh, the man has a reputation worldwide. Uh, he, uh, when I first met him, I met him in Houston, Texas. He came down for a three-day tournament in which he won, by the way. Uh, he defeated, I think, over 22 wrestlers over the weekend. Uh, and uh, he's a sensational wrestler. He's been all over, all over the country, New York, uh, former WWF tag team champion, uh, been in Minnesota, and now he's making his mark here in Georgia. Del Vizi, as you just saw, he has a knowledge of amateur wrestling, and uh, he's from, from right here in Albany, or from right here in Georgia. Uh, from Albany, Georgia, he's uh, been wrestling, I, I believe, just a little, little more than a year. He's come a long way, and uh, he's going to have his hands full with Tito Santana, that's for sure. But the man works out hard on weights, as you can see. He's uh, been in a couple powerlifting contests, and uh, he has a good amateur background behind him. Uh, you should see some holds uh, uh, that you haven't seen in quite a while. In fact, right there, we're seeing a hammer lock, and uh, they just went through a series of reversals, and uh, Tito tried to reverse again, but he came up with a top wrist lock. And uh, this should be a very scientific, uh, very scientific match, and we should see a lot, a lot of wrestling holds here. Well, those who appreciate um, uh, wrestling, even amateur wrestling, should certainly enjoy this match. A lot of science here being used by Tito Santana, young Dale Vesey from Albany, Georgia. Santana, very popular in the area, very fine-looking athlete. And, as Tom mentioned, a veteran, even though he doesn't look like one, looks to be uh, comparatively young compared to most uh, veteran wrestlers. Exactly. Uh, uh, even though Tito like, has been around, uh, good, good side takedown, takeover uh, from the headlock from Dale Beasy, and uh, Tito just uh, countered with a uh, uh, scissor hold to the to the head. Dale kicked out, but Tito came right back up with a front uh, face lock. But Tito has been around, uh, I guess, six or seven years, and uh, he knows the stuff in the ring. But uh, he played pro football for a couple of years with the Kansas City Chiefs, and uh, he, he's he's making his mark now in professional wrestling. And Dale was going right back for that side headlock, take over again. Tito this time uh, didn't get that uh, uh, scissor lock, but Dale was holding on to that side headlock, and this might do him good for the rest of the match. Tom, something that uh, wrestling fans have asked me, and I know you can answer, does it make any deal of difference? Is there any, uh, uh, do you enjoy wrestling a man who has a beard? Well, you know, the, the, the very good point you brought up there, because a lot of times uh, a man with a beard is a disadvantage. Uh, it <laughs> of course, this may sound a little bit silly, but it, it can be pulled, can it? Exactly, exactly. Uh, that, that's just what I was going to get at. Uh, uh, sometimes a beard is fair game. Uh, uh, I've seen a lot of people such as Ivan Koloff with, with, uh, with a beard and no hair. Uh, when the man pulls your hair and you get a little bit sick and tired of it, pull his beard. But at the same time, when you have a headlock on someone with a beard, uh, it depends how far along it is. There again, he can rub up against your uh, your stomach, rub up against your legs, uh, things like this, and that burns. Uh, but I don't think uh, Del Vizi, uh, or Tito's going to have any trouble with Del Vizi on that, that count. Well, as you can see, Dale Vizi has a very handsome and a very full beard. And he also has a headlock on Tito Santana. Santana may to get to his feet, trying to break this hole now. There goes Vizi into the ropes, and there goes... Santana to the mat. Oh, beautiful arm drag there by Tito Santana. And a flying headlock by VZ, and again he has the advantage on Santana. Jim, I don't mean to correct you, that was a hip toss right off the ropes there, and uh, a very beautiful executed hip toss by Tito Santana. But uh, as you notice, Dale was a little bit quicker that time, and this is where size comes in a factor. Not that Tito is not a, not a slow man by any means, but for his size, uh, Dale got up just a little bit quicker that time, countered with that headlock, and he's got the hold once again. Uh, but both of these men are very, very uh, agile, very, very quick in the ring, as, as I think we'll see during this match. Now, Tito... 
uh, coming up with that top wrist lock again, using his strength to take Dell over and uh, using it to good use. He's coming up with a uh, uh, version of his arm bar now. And Tito has uh, good control of it right now, and uh, he's going to make his bid uh, to take control now, I believe. Santana applying a lot of pressure on that arm. Both athletes on their feet, and there goes Vesey again on his back. It must be very painful, Tom. Exactly. Uh, you know, a lot of people don't understand that mat. It doesn't have that much padding on it, you know. It's it's nothing but boards and maybe uh, a couple underlaying uh, uh, pieces of rug or canvas under it. And uh, when when you get slammed on there, it, it it takes quite a lot out of you. And this is uh, here comes Tito coming at us off the ropes. Beautiful tackle, beautiful tackle by Tito Santana. And another sensational arm drag, beautiful arm drag. And he follows up with an arm bar, and uh, he's going to try and wear his man down the best way he can here. And it looks like he's going to go to that arm, putting the knee on the head right there, uh, yanking back up on the arm. Getting the pressure, this gives a lot of uh, uh, a lot of advantage to the man with the hole, who's Tito Santana right now. Now, Dale going for a body slam, but Tito's holding on to that hole. He slipped out just a minute, but uh, Tito went right back for the arm. He's holding on to it good right now. Dale Vizzi, uh, uh he's going to have to think a little bit to get out of this. Now, sometimes a man, when he's in a hole like this, he has time to think has time to figure out what his next move is going to be, uh, but he better do it quick, otherwise that arm may not be with him any longer. Tom, did you notice this match started out as a very gentlemanly, very uh, scientific match, but now it's getting more rugged, more intense as it gets along. You watch the expression of the two wrestlers. A lot of pain there, a lot of, in, a lot of just intense uh, fortitude, I guess you'd call it. And uh, uh, what was a gentlemanly match is now turning into be, uh, I'd say there's uh, some bad feelings. Well, you know, uh, I, I've seen, uh, th I, I think it's a spirit of competition, more or less, right now. If you can just notice the sweat dripping off both men, uh, they're barely five minutes into the match. You can see uh, how hard they're going at it. Now, now for Del Vizi to get a win over someone like Tito Santana, uh, if you can imagine, uh, uh, that would shoot him right up to the top right now in Georgia Championship Wrestling Standards. Now, now Tito, on the other hand, has to know uh, that his reputation is on the line. He's not going to take this man uh, lightly by any means. Uh, if you just look at the physique, and uh, 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 he's hungry. Del Vizzi is hungry, and Tito knows that. He's going to be very careful with this man. He's going to wrestle him as best as he can, but they're going to go, and they're going to wrestle hard. Nick Patrick, the referee, looking on, observing very cautiously the move being applied here by Santana. VZ, of course, still holding on with that headlock. Santana trying to make his escape. And I notice the fans here at ringside not making a lot of, a lot of noise. Watching this action very intently. Oh, look at Vizi with that fine move. What do you Fantastic. call that, Tom? Fantastic sunset flip right there. It was Del Vizi all the way. Uh, uh, Tito thought he was going to counter with something, and Dell went for that headlock this time. But this time, Tito got his legs under there, and he got that uh, leg scissors on the on the head of Dell Vizi. Now, uh, Dell's been doing pretty good during this match so far, but uh, Tito looks like he's coming along right now. You know, someone like Tito Santana, you can't take lightly one, for one bitch. You can't take your eyes off him. You can't take uh, anything away from him. Now, Dell. Very good move on Dell's part. He spread those legs apart and went trying to get back for the uh, side headlock. But Tito is, is showing why he is one of the top-rated uh, uh, wrestlers in the country today for, for a championship shot uh, by, by getting back that head scissor. Beasy trying to get out of that, uh, that scissors. Beasy broke it, but Santana right back trying to get the pin now. Got a count of two, and that's about all. Well, if you notice, uh, Dale was trying to break that hole, but uh, Tito just uh, bounced him on the top of his head that time on the, on the canvas. Uh, but now Tito's going back for the arm, as he went to earlier. And uh, Del is going to have to uh, think about another strategy in this match because, uh, uh, you know, he, he's in there with a seasoned veteran, as you said before, and he, he's, got, he's got to do something to pull this match out. Well, the longer, Tom, that someone applies pressure, let's say, for example, on that left arm, the longer the pressure is applied, the more intense it's, it's applied, the longer it takes for, the, for the, uh, the aches and pains to wear off. Am I right? Exactly, exactly. And uh, like I said, a lot of men uh, uh, will use this hole just to wear down his opponent and uh, get him a little tired. And uh, exactly what Tito's trying to do. But Dale shot him off the road. Beautiful uh, body tackle by Tito Santana. Here goes a scoop slam by Dale Vizzi. Beautiful scoop slam. Fantastic scoop slam. 
Comes with that guillotine drop right across the chest. Now that is a legal move. That is a legal move right there. He got a two count on Tito Santana, which is very good for Del Vizzi. Very good. Goes back to that side headlock. This time Tito, if you notice, blocked him. He blocked him from taking him down, but Dale still has that side headlock. Tito shoots him up, drops down for a double knockout. Both men, if you notice, as they came off the ropes, Tito, both, both of their heads hit. It might have hit on the chin. Dale's looked like he hit on Tito's chin. Knocked both men down. Uh, uh, looks like Tito might be coming up first. Referee has a count going on right now. Bad position for both men. Both are up, both missed, and again, both are very hurt. Both extremely dazed as they miss the uh, flying drop kick. And I imagine that does hurt a great deal, Tom Pritchard. Well, you know, right there, both of them could have been injured very, very seriously. If you notice, uh, legs going up there in, in the air like that could have hit anything. But this is like Tito's coming up first. Reverse hip toss by Del Vizzi. Very good move. And he's going in for a count again. And he gets a one count this time on Tito. Del going back. Tito lifting that leg for a leg breaker. This is, his, this is Tito Santana's hold. Reverse leg lock. Goes back for the pin. He's got it. He's got it. Very good. Indian death lock. The Indian death lock, Tom Pritchard called it, and Tito Santana has defeated the newcomer from Albany, Georgia, Doug Vesey, who put up, uh, Dale Vesey, I should say, who put up a magnificent fight here as the referee, Nick Patrick, raises the arm in victory for Tito Santana. And uh, there's a match, Tom, that the fans certainly enjoyed, I enjoyed, and it should raise the name of Dale Vesey into some kind of esteem for the fans who are watching here. Most definitely, Dale has nothing at all to be ashamed of. He was in there with Tito Santana, and uh, as, as we said all through the match, Tito's a seasoned veteran, and showing it right there, a sign of good sportsmanship, showing the kind of man and kind of wrestler Tito is, uh, telling Dale he, he enjoyed the match too, I'm sure, and uh, Dale 